Hello traders! Many of us are waking up this morning to see that overnight Bitcoin dropped to as low as 22k. There's been a slight recovery since the lows, but this swing was a massive 6% move. And it happened in just 15 minutes. You're probably asking why this happened. What caused BTC to crash like this? In this video, I'll explain the simple order flow mechanics that set up this entire move. And listen guys, there's going to be a ton of hindsighting this morning. People naturally want to know why this happened, so news sites and journalists will start to retrospectively fit stories to the move to get those all important clicks. But I'm going to explain how this move has actually been setting up in the order flow for the previous few days. We've been tweeting about the warning signs all week. I'll show you how the order flow and real time volume drives the market. So please watch this short video to the end. And hopefully you can learn something. On Tuesday, Feb 28, we tweeted this. Sellers have been in control since the recent highs of 25k on BTC USDT. Substantial selling volume yesterday morning. More than 1,000 Bitcoin resting on the bid at 22.2k. Will this bear flag play out for more downside today? Or will the selling momentum slow? So let's dive into this guys. First of all, high liquidity at 22.2k. This is our first clue. Resting high liquidity often acts as a magnet for price action. And this liquidity was in the book for several days, so it's less likely to be a spoof order. Of course, price doesn't have to move down here, but it gives us a target and helps start paint a picture. Secondly, as price has been moving down with the prevailing trend, new liquidity is being added to the offer. Note the difference between these two types of liquidity. The lower level is just sitting there, kind of like standing in front of the train, while this higher level is newer and being added behind the train. And thirdly, and perhaps most importantly, look at the volume in this area of consolidation. By the way, it's also a bear flag, which we'll get to next. But particularly look at the selling volume in this area. It's higher than it's ever been over the past week. So this is not exhaustion. In other words, it looks like continuation. There are still aggressive sellers in this range. So lastly, and probably least importantly, there's a bear flag formation. Now you should never trade off patterns in isolation. They're terribly unreliable. What's important is the order flow and volume that's happening within the bear flag. And as discussed, we have an increasing number of sellers as time is passing. This means there are still sellers interested. By the way guys, if you're finding this interesting or useful, please hit the like button as it helps shape our future content. Thank you. Now, moving on to the second tweet we sent just yesterday. A large market participant getting involved in BTC USDT. Almost $40 million entering the book and getting filled. We don't know if they've entered or exited, nor if it is one single actor. But if they've entered and price goes against them... So, this was just a few hours before the drop. What we see here is the potential for trapped traders. This essentially fuels large volatile moves. As we said in the tweet, there is some uncertainty about this. This could be three separate actors. It could be someone exiting a short position by adding to the bid. But given the context, I was happy when I saw this. As I said, it potentially provides fuel to push prices lower. Because if price moves against a buyer, they're forced to exit their position, which is a sell order. Or worse still, their account is liquidated. So by puking their position, they become an aggressive seller. And $40 million is kind of a drop in the ocean for what happened next. But remember, it wasn't just this one actor. Anyone that had been buying for the last week could have had stops in this area. This was just one particularly big player that we managed to catch in the book. Where did price drop to? The area of liquidity we spotted on Tuesday. And what confluence did we have? Well again, this is one good use for patterns. They can help frame your trade. 
and by creating a measured move from the bear flag, we can get a target area which aligns with the order flow. Measure from the low point of the flag to the high point and drag that to the point where the price breaks from to get an approximate target. Let me re-emphasize here though, trading patterns in isolation doesn't work. You need to understand the higher time frame momentum and order flow happening within the flag. They are only useful for framing positions and potentially invalidating moves. So there you have it guys. Was this move destined to happen? Did the news create this move? Or was the order flow setting up days before? Let us know in the comments what you think. And again, please smash that like button if this is the kind of content you enjoy. Thank you for watching.